Hello, my name is Ken Altenbach, AKA Kenny A, and this is Leadership Mental Moment. Today, I would like to talk to you about conflict management, in particular, about preparing for and conducting difficult conversation. You know, whenever I meet with business leaders, I often ask the question, what is their biggest challenge when it comes to difficult conversation? And the answer I often get is how stressed they become when they know they have to prepare for a difficult conversation. In fact, they're thinking, if I wait just long enough, the problem will mysteriously work its way out. We all thought about this at one time or another, and perhaps some of you are still thinking like this today. But as we all know, it never does. In fact, we find that the problem has gotten worse because we chose to ignore it. To prepare for and especially conduct difficult conversation can be a tremendous challenge for most of us. If it were possible, most of us would wait until the problem mysteriously worked its way out instead of having to sit down and have a face-to-face -face difficult conversation with someone. But you are in a leadership position and it's your responsibility and duty to ensure that your organization operates at the highest caliber with the minimum amount of distractions and problems. So today, I would like to give you some practical tips to help you become better prepared when having a difficult conversation. Number one, take the time to prepare. Have your facts and figures, dates and times well documented, and yes, the consequences that occurred also. It is very hard for someone to dispute your claims when you present them with the proper information. Number two, only discuss the current problem or behavior that needs to be corrected. Refrain from bringing up things that are not relevant to the current situation. Number three, always direct your conversation to positive corrective action. One way of doing this is allow the individual to come up with their own positive corrective action that everyone agrees upon. Number four, don't demand, threaten, or blame. This never works. By doing so, you will succeed at making an already difficult conversation even worse. And you'll be barraged with a bunch of excuses and put the individual into defensive mode. Number five, be objective and show respect. Allow the opportunity for discussion and explanation. This is the time to listen and close your mouth. You might discover hidden problems that are contributing to the current problem. Well, hopefully, I've given you some helpful hints today. And if you put these simple tips to use, I promise you will become better at preparing for and conducting difficult conversations, eliminating your stress altogether. For more information about me, and if I could assist you further, please visit www.kennyaenterprises.com. Thanks for watching. My name is Ken Altenbach, and this is Leadership Mental Moment. Have a great day.